to storm 310 miles south southeast of New York City. Winds around 85 miles per hour moving north northwest at 20. That will put it south of Long Island tonight uh, around 8 o'clock. So 10 years ago during Sandy, I was not on the town board, but um, I am a New York City firefighter and I was at work. Uh, I came into work that night. Uh, my work in South Jamaica, Queens, uh, we were sent down to Rockaway and uh, to assist with uh, water rescues and, and everything going on down there. Again, you got a real feel for how fast the water surge came in. I'm also a volunteer firefighter with North Babylon, uh, but one of the things when you join the fire service in, on Long Island, Yes, it's volunteered, but you had just volunteered to become a professional. There were four fires in the town of Babylon that night, uh, where complete total loss of, of the house. And I know Babylon Fire Department, Lindenhurst Fire Department, Amityville, um, they, they usually walk up to house fires or walk up to emergencies. And it, it was very uh, unusual because for this case, you had firefighters swimming up to people's front porches, up to their door. Um, which made for an even tougher task because now they're there um, wearing you know close to 100 pounds worth of weight and um, they need to you know conserve their energy and, and they just wasted a lot of energy just getting up to that door so it just made um, difficult tasks that more difficult you know these are two more firefighters three more firefighters that uprooted themselves from their family and came to help this particular family in need uh, a woman, a young child, and her husband who needed to be evacuated from their home. Well, as first responders, um, we really need to um, take a step back and look at the entire situation. Uh, a lot of people say we've rushed into buildings, and that's not the case. First responders take a step back, and we really evaluate the situation, whether it's the, evalu the evaluation starts from the time we get the alarm or when we uh, arrive on scene. You have to, we have to figure out what's going on. Uh, so. It, it really hampered our uh, response times be between uh, driving the fire trucks and the, and the fire engines through, um, you know, four or five feet of salt water, uh, and then getting off the the fire trucks and, and you know whether we had to stretch hand lines, find a hydrant. I remember that was one of the more difficult parts because the water was the water levels were above the uh, base of the hydrant. So, trying to find a hydrant and, and secure a positive water source. Babylon Central is the most vital part of our first responders, specifically for the fire departments and our EMS. Um, during the surge of that storm, they received over 1,200 calls that they had a dispatch for. Um, and, and it's not just dispatching, it's answering the radio when, when the people on the other side of that radio need their help or need some, have some questions that need to be answered. Um, sometimes when, when they're taking a call, you know, the, the caller is in complete panic and, and really not giving maybe the best or most accurate information. And these guys are like psychologists downstairs, um, Babylon Central, and they, they're able to uh, calm not only the caller, but they're the calm voice on the other side that really reflects uh, for the job that our first responders have to do. Uh, from a first responder's point of view, I cannot believe the job that was done, that was done so professionally, and nobody got hurt. Um, and also the selflessness of the, our first responders who literally came, left everything at, at their kitchen table to go help a complete stranger. You know, I mean, what other profession do you see that in? You know, um, and, and, and they're not getting paid for it. They're volunteer and they, you know, completely uprooted their family. And they didn't just go on a call. They weren't just gone for an hour or two. Some of them were gone for days at a time because uh, they were sleeping in, in the firehouses. On behalf of the town of Babylon, on behalf of myself, a fellow first responder, I would like to thank our Babylon Fire Departments uh, for their true professionalism throughout the, the days of and the days after Superstorm Sandy. I would like to thank Babylon Central Fire Alarm, who continues to do the best job uh, possible, and, and their calmness uh, for, for everything that they do on the radio um, and our residents. Our residents really stepped up. They were, they were patient with government uh, as we tried to put things back together.